First on Fox, answers pour in for investigators just hours after Fox 25 showed you a sketch of an unidentified woman found dead in a ditch. Good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. And I'm Wendy Suarez. Tonight, family members of a young mother are pleading for answers about what happened. Only on Fox 25, Fox 25's Tom George talked with Alicia Payne's family. He's live in Tacoma Park where she was found. Tom? Well, Mike and Wendy, here at the scene, if you look, you can see flowers lie next to the ditch where Alicia Payne's body was found. Today, her family tells me that she was more than just the mystery woman in that sketch. She was a mother of three and had a family who loved her. More than a body in a ditch, more than a face in a sketch. <laughs> this is how Alicia Payne's family remembers her. Radiant, loving, caring. She would give you the shirt off her back. A loving family and three young daughters. The 26-year-old's life cut short and still a mystery. After the sheriff's office responded to a woman's body in a ditch off Westminster in Nakoma Park, they released this sketch and the calls came in. I think it made all the difference in the world because within a half an hour we had people calling and they were all pointing to the same person. Her family recognized the face immediately. They knew something was wrong when they hadn't heard from Alicia in days. No matter what she had or what she's doing, she she would always call her daughters. Alicia was found without trauma to her body in her pajamas. They still don't know how she got there. Let us know what happened in those last moments, why you made the decision that you made. All these things we want to know. Her family says she had a lot on her plate at the time. She was dealing with a lot, and um, the most of it was not being able to be with her girls every day. Barely old enough to understand. She said, you mean mommy's not coming here? No more. Her family hopes one day they'll be able to give them answers. We have three young girls. They're motherless today. And we just want to have closure so that we can tell them something. Come forward. Now, the family says they also want to thank the artist who drew that sketch for uh, being able to find her using it. Now, in the meantime, this case is still under investigation. We're still waiting on the medical examiner to find out an exact cause of death. Now, if you have any information on this case, you can contact the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live in Nakoma Park, Tom George, Fox 25 News.